Now you're using an analogy for me before we began about how one solar panel could like drive a household in a country like India. So if we're talking about poor countries where they don't have a lot of capacity to feed water into their homes, this could be a real solution for them, couldn't it? Yeah, this is a fantastic product in the market. You know why? Because if you took the example, if you take the example of India, in India, the government, they have, they have difficulties to, to give energy to the people, to the whole population. They have about 1,500 million people there, you know. And so they reduce a lot the, the pressure in the water, pipe, the water pipes. And so the water always gets to the house of the people with very lower pressure. So you cannot uh, run the water direct to, the, to store them above. It's hard to get it up one story, let alone three or four, right? Yeah, so they use wells there. So the water goes down and you need buckets to take water from down. So it's still human effort to take the water and put it into the house. And, and, and yes, and not only that, imagine the case of the pollution, because if you were storing it downstairs, it, this water can mix up with all, all different kinds of pollutions, you know, human pollution, chemical pollution from the soil, and, and, also, and many other problems. So in this case, everyone there in India could have a very simple pump with one solar panel like that and take the water up and use the natural pressure of the gravity. Here we're talking a solar panel. One solar panel in Brazil is about a thousand hay ice. So that's less than $500 for one solar panel, right? Yeah. This here in Brazil that we do not produce this, but if you are speaking about a country that produces these panels, this will, will have a much lower cost. And if you consider that one panel like that, it can last from 20 to 30 years. It's almost nothing. You just need one panel like that in our case, one panel like that, one battery, 12 volt battery, that if you are speaking a deep discharge battery, this can last for five or seven years long to is almost nothing to run a system to pump your water from the ground to the to the high up yeah. to the roof uh, costless yeah. almost costless Yeah, the solar pumps, uh, the solar pumps for houses, they are very uh, low in uh, flow. They do not have like a, a high flow. They normally have six, seven, ten liters per minute. And our pump can run 40 liters per minute or even more without the use of inverters. So our system is much more, uh, uh, much less expensive. And not only that, as I told you, the inverter reduces the efficiency of the motor. If you are considering a motor of 80% efficiency, for example, you use an inverter that reduces the efficiency to 35, less 35, you are speaking about a system of 55, 60% in total. In our case, not using the inverter, you have already a 90% efficiency motor running alone, and that's it. You will lose 10% only in the system. Yes, because let me tell you something. Our our motor has the unique uh, uh, this quality. It has it can run as a generator too. So imagine like that. If in one hour a day you fill up your water tank on the roof, the seven other hours you can also continue to pump water up. And then in the in the end of the day, like for example at the night, you can use the water stored above to serve for water flow to make your motor work as a generator and feed your house with electricity. And like a waterfall runs a turbine in a... In yes, a our motor is perfect for that. And the same efficiency it has as a motor, it has as a generator. So you will have a more than 90% efficiency generator of a half, a half horsepower or even one horsepower to your home working for you at it, night. Is this Kepi motor pump set up to be a generator as well? Have you set it up yes, that way? Yes, yes, it is set up. Wow. So we can, like I told you, work it one hour a day, four hour purposes, for water purposes, and the other seven hours for electricity at night.
No, this for sure is uh, much less expensive than what you find in the market. It uses conventional materials. You don't need to use like a rare earth magnets to do that or special materials, special metals. No, circuit is simple motor is simple and the efficiency is very high because of the capi motor principle. Well, the plans now we are in we are in contact with two companies that are very much interested in applying these concepts in the northeast area of Brazil. There we have like lots of problems because people without water they come to the big capitals like São Paulo and Rio de Janeiro in, in search for a better way of living, you know. So if we can take the solution to the northeast of Brazil, we can help those families to to harvest their own their own crops, you know, to to get their own food, and so they can stay in place and develop their area. So this will be a very bright future for our country, Brazil, and I hope for the others too.